Hi, I'm Foligon, and today we're going to look at a quick and easy way to create some seams inside of ZBrush. Now I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the Dam Standard Brush or the Damien Standard Brush and how you could use it maybe in conjunction with something like Lazy Mouse to create some nice clean strokes for your seams or maybe not even with Lazy Mouse if you want to do something a little bit more haphazard, right? But what we're going to look at here today is using a Curve Tube Snap Brush, which you can find in your brush menu by hitting B, C, and then Y right here for your Curve Tube Snap Brush. Now I'm going to look at just our pants on our character here because we want to put a seam line down the middle. So I have just my pants visible. And then I'm going to come down into uh, Tool, click on Duplicate, and then I'm going to delete my lowest subdivision levels. So I'm just looking at the highest resolution mesh here. Let's also go ahead and turn off our poly paint just so we have a nice black and white sculptural material here. So I'm going to use my Curve Tube Snap Brush and draw out a curve where I want my seam to live. And I'm not even going to do the entire leg, we just want to get the, get the end result on here. So we'll go ahead and draw out that curve really quick. And this looks way too large for what we want for our seam, so let's drop our brush size down to something really low, maybe like 15, something like that, maybe even a little bit smaller. So let's try like 7 or so. So after we have our curved tube placed on our mesh, we just want to click anywhere on our geometry to delete that curve. And then we want to delete the excess geometry that we have inserted this curve on. And to do that, a really quick way is I'm just going to press Control w and Control w will by default uh, polygroup anything that we have masked. And then I'm going to hold Control and Shift, select my geometry, invert it by Control shift clicking and dragging on my canvas, and then going down into Tool, Geometry, Modify Topology, Delete Hidden. Now I should just have this tube of geometry and the pants as two separate subtools and I should be ready to create my seam. So all we're going to do from here is turn on negative for our geometric tube and turn on live boolean. And that will start subtracting that seam from our clothing. From here we can manipulate this curve with any of our geometric brushes. I like to use the move if I want to fix its placement, maybe get the stroke a little bit more clean. Maybe if you have some folds or secondary forms you want to adjust where that's kind of blending into the shape there. And if it gets a little confusing while you're in Live Boolean, if you press Shift F or click the polyframe toggle over here, you can see how that geometry is interacting with the mesh. You can add some subdivisions to this as well or some dynamic smooth if you want to smooth this out with your smooth brush or, you know, deform it with um, some inflate or anything like that, that's absolutely possible as well. Now to get this to actually bake into the geometry to become actual geometry, you have to come down into Tool, under Subtool, go under Boolean, and click Make Boolean Mesh. It'll take a little bit of time to calculate, but once that's done, we'll have that seam actually baked into the geometry. So let's very quickly look at that and see what that looks like. And we'll just turn on Shift F to look at our polyframe data and see how that seam has been subtracted. Now, of course, we would want to do some stuff to maybe subdivide this geometry and get this a little bit, a uh, little bit more smooth, looking a little bit better. But instead of doing that, let's look at another brush that I have created here using this piece of geometry that I have uh, previously constructed. This is a tri-parts welded brush that we'll be looking at. And this is the simple construction for the brush. And let's look at our geometry again. So let's go back to our pants here and uh, do the exact same process. We'll duplicate our pants. We will delete our lower subdivision levels. And then this time, instead of using the Curve Tube Snap Brush, I'm going to use a brush that I've previously constructed, my Foligon Cut Seam Brush. And I am going to do the exact same thing and draw out my curve on my pant leg. And obviously this is way too large, so let's drop this down to maybe about 7 or 8 or so where we had it before. Get that on the surface. We're just going to tap on our surface to delete our curve. Control W to polygroup what we had masked, and then we're just going to select our geometry, invert our selection, and then just go to delete hidden again. Let's turn on negative and make sure live boolean is checked. And then I'm just going to do a couple 
moves here with my move brush just to pull out this curve and get this looking a little bit better. And if that's looking a little bit too thin, we can just come down here into deformation inflate and maybe just inflate that by a couple units. And then from there, just a little bit more move brush to manipulate that, get that feeling a little bit closer to what we would like for our seam. And just like that, we have a nice seam for our geometry. What's really nice about the brush that I'm using is that when you start to add subdivisions as well, you start to get a little bit of that wrap that you would see tucking into those tight seamed areas. So if you guys want to get this brush, uh, I have it available on my Gumroad for just a dollar. There's a link down in the description. Other than that, happy Z brushing, guys, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial or maybe in one of my next live streams. You guys have a great day.